Wow, thank you. Thank you for that very kind introduction. It's been said before, we all sound better on paper. But um, it's really, really great to be here. Um, so I'm the Vice Provost for Research and Enterprise. I've been in this role for about half a year. And, and Oscar might disagree with me, but I think I have the best job in the college. Um, because I really get to not just see, but help understand how we can pull the levers to really help us do even better research and really take that research towards the benefit for society, which is core to our college mission. And of course, what we are building here in White City is really a key example of that commitment to not just brilliant science, but delivering real world impact. Um, so it's my absolute privilege to, uh, to welcome you to the inaugural Jaw Drop Summit. Um, I don't know who came up with the title, but it is what an amazing, and actually by the end of the day, I expect you will all be walking out in, with an appropriate jaw drop, because the work that has been going on has already been amazing, and I think you're gonna hear some really stimulating and exciting discussions. The program is fabulous. Um, what we're doing today and beyond today is bringing together really a whole range of stakeholders in academia, industry, local government, to address some of the key challenges that we have um, in life sciences we're talking about today, but on the campus and more broadly, um, key global challenges that requires that multiple stakeholder approach to really help us make a difference. Um, we are here because of, I think, one particular stakeholder, the amazing partnership that Imperial College has built with the local council, and I'm really pleased that um, Councillor Cohn is here to sit on the panel and really help us think about um, our place as a university in the local ecosystem, delivering locally as well as nationally and globally. So thank you for your ongoing support and for, for joining us today. Um, the Imperial Campus, I think it's fair to say, is the anchor of this new science and tech community. And we appreciate that is both an honor and a privilege, but also a responsibility, that we as an Imperial community commit our best minds and our best efforts to making this work and doing what we can not to just for the benefit of Imperial, but for the benefit of London and the country. Um, so this summit we mentioned came out of the Deep Tech Network. And <clears throat> we've been really thinking quite hard about what Deep Tech means as, as, as a statement, right? And what does it mean for us as a community to enable Deep Tech? Um, we've recently launched the Institute for Deep Tech Entrepreneurship, aligned with a lot of the ambitions of, of the network to really not just, not just support some of these world-changing technologies that come from long time frame, high risk, big ideas, but also thinking about what are the, what are the experiments on innovation? What's, how do we learn what's the best way to support and enable that? So it's, it's using, I think, this campus a little bit like a test bed itself, right? Like an experiment in co-location and collaboration to really think about what's the best way that Imperial and the White City Innovation District can work together to deliver on those new technologies. We're going to hear a lot, I think, also about AI today. I'm really excited about that panel. And I think what's really exciting about the kind of emergence of what's happening on this campus is how it's bringing in new disciplines that are both, I think, orthogonal. So you, you, we are getting some kind of pushing up of interdisciplinarity in the space but also where there are deep connections that already exist and can be deepened. So thinking about how we bring in the Imperial IX community to the IHUB, and in that space we are really bringing from across the college our best thinkers in AI as applied to different sectors. So we're really focusing on how AI can benefit different technologies in different sectors. Um, in the IHUB as well, we also have um, our Institute for Security Science and Technology and the new NATO Defense Innovation Accelerator is going to be housed there. And thinking about actually how all these different sectors and all these different disciplines are going to come together from the college and the and Imperials and the, and the district's perspective to drive health and prosperity locally and beyond. So this is the inaugural summit, and I'm always excited when someone's inaugural because that means there's going to be many more to come. Um, and I think by the end of the day, people are probably already going to be saying, when is the next one? So I hope you're prepared for when is the next one. And it's interesting when you say something is inaugural, because we're not just starting. There's been a huge amount of work that's gone on, I think, building this community. And I really want to thank the upstream team for, for delivering this. And, and Oscar and his team have been a huge champion 
of that. But we're starting today, I think, with a new ambition to do even more and deliver even more in, in this space. So I will, um, I think, stop there and just, again, echo my thanks. I want to um, really encourage participation. The whole point, I think, of the Innovation District is, is how we get that spirit of partnership and collaboration and that we are all part of this journey. So everyone here should also feel part of this conversation today. And I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing not just from the panelists, but from the broader community, your thoughts on how we better deliver in this innovation space. So it's my pleasure now to hand over to um, our next speaker, um, Lord James Bethel, who's um, very, um, we're very honored to have you here. You've been driving the life science strategy and innovation life science in government, launching the life science vision, which is this 10 year vision for the sector. Um, and I think really the government has really put, life, put, put science and technology at the forefront of lots of its policies. And I think life science in particular has been at the heart of that drive and it has a really well articulated vision in how it can support that. The White City Innovation District, I think he's a brilliant, and I'm slightly biased, but a brilliant exemplar of how the life science vision can be exemplified. So I'd like to hand over to James to give us some opening remarks. Thank you.